Sacred Heart High School, 5th Standard English Introduction Communication is sharing or imparting information. Communication involves both the speaker and the listener. It is extremely important to speak well. While some of us speak well with confidence, there are others who are shy. Some speak comfortably with their friends and relatives but become nervous and tongue-tied in front of a larger audience. This lesson drives home a few tips regarding effective speaking or how to be an effective speaker. So let's begin with Unit 2, Chapter 11, Be a Good Speaker. This particular chapter, we are going to learn it in three portions. First part, points to remember when you speak. Second, points to remember when you take part in a discussion. And third, points to remember when you want to give a speech. So let's begin with our first part. Few things to remember when you speak. The first point says, Speak clearly, don't mumble. Mumble means saying something quietly and making it difficult for others to hear it. Hence, it is extremely important to speak clearly. Next point, maintain an eye contact. Maintaining an eye contact helps you to build a rapport with your audience and keeps them engaged with your speech. Next point, not to be too loud or too soft, too fast or too slow. It is equally important to keep your pace while speaking. It allows you to sound more confident and in control. The next point, be polite and be pleasant. You can sound polite by using the golden words such as Please, sorry and thank you. This makes your communication smooth and healthy. And being pleasant helps you in giving a sense of enjoyment and compliments. And the last point. Give a thought to the other person's feelings and interest. This makes your listeners feel special. And it helps you to appreciate the difference in their opinions and to respect it. Now let's move on to the second part that is points to remember when you take part in a discussion. Now there are certain pros and cons. Let's discuss it or understand it one by one. The first point, allow others to talk. Whereas, you don't keep on talking for the whole time. Second, listen carefully rather than interrupting. Third, acknowledge others and never ignore or deny others. Fourth, share your thoughts and ideas. On the other hand, don't dominate or be selfish. Fifth, for any disagreement, Seek for an explanation politely. On the contrary, don't be rude. And now, let's move on to the third part. Points to remember when you want to give a speech. So the first point talks about plan your speech in advance. This means it is always better to spend some time thinking about the structure of the entire talk. The more prepared work you put in, the more likely you are to succeed. The next point. Note the points and arrange them properly. This means value the importance of time as a good organized work is the foundation of your speech. And the last point. Rehearse the speech in your mind and go ahead. Rehearse means to practice. Hence, only perfect practice makes a perfect speech. So, 
be honest in rehearsing your speech and go ahead with confidence with this we have come to an end of this chapter and i'm sure using these few tips will help you in your pursuit to become an effective speaker thank you